which means hello and welcome in Arabic uh, now in this tutorial um, I wanna in this video to be precise I wanna show you when what happens or how you can trigger a bad request exception or uh, is not found um, a response by the by the backend in a previous video we just added our first um, integration test and for the API um, all minus tasks endpoint and now I want to just show you how to how to get a uh, it's not found or bad request um, response from the backend for that now let's write a new test so okay say fun okay um, when uh, task ID does not exist, then accept is not found response. Okay, so let's start. First of all, we, we need to again uh, mock some things. So every time when I'm calling a specific task, I want to I want to emphasize the um, it's not found response by the backend. So for that we need again our when mock service get task by ID, and we have a we call, we defined this global field here. Let's take this one task ID uh, then throw uh, task not found exception uh, we have to give a message task with id task id does not exist exclamation mark and now we need again uh, our result actions i just copy i mean again let me see basically i can copy the whole line just make sure I'm I have to make sure that I'm using the correct endpoint for a specific task it would be it would be that one so let's copy this from our task controller so make sure you remove all that part and you just call it the task ID and yeah, uh, then we can just basically just perform uh, our then block, take our result actions, say and expect. And what we're basically now accept, uh, expecting is uh, we can also copy. A mock result matches status we're expecting, and we can say here is not found. Okay, should be should be fine now. Um, and now let's uh, emphasize when um, that request is sent. Um, and let's test that thing. So let's say test. Okay, 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 fun. When get task ID is called with an um, with a um, character. In the URL, then uh, expect a bad request message. Okay. Okay. So basically, we don't really have to mock you something, so we can just also uh, take this line. 
copy it and we have to again just make sure here we are calling it with, with, uh, with a character like I said like when someone is calling the number let's take 13 with an L here and basically what we're expecting is a bad request so let's take this copy it in here not found is that request nice uh, yeah that should be it uh, okay uh, now I can start uh, to write the next test uh, but I can just in the meanwhile I can just start from these tests to see if I didn't make any mistake and uh, now let's emphasize on the next test uh, if we wanna, let's say, we say we send a patch request to our endpoint, update, uh, then we can check um, if everything went properly, or it's okay, if everything went okay, and check for the properties. So, as you can see, the tests are still running, so I will, but I will start to write the unit test. So. Let's say test fun. Now uh, give an update task. Update task when task is updated. Then check. Or call it properties. Ah, okay, as you can see, the test went through, everything is green, and uh, that should be good for now. Um, so let's continue with our next integration test. And say here, um, basically, what I want to do is. Maybe just uh, what, what, we need a DTO for sure, and we need an update request. I would say maybe just copy this one. Uh, sorry. Or oh, actually, we no no, we don't need it. Uh, so for quick confusion, just create uh, update task request Re request equals task update request so uh, just take the description from the dummy task DTO description uh, because it doesn't matter because we mocking your things um, the dummy task DTO is reminder set the Dummy task DTO is task open and dummy task DTO set the priority. Okay. Okay, good. So far so good now. Um, now we have to mock again things. Um, okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Again, when mock service dot update task, then we take the, the ID of the dummy task DTO ID. And we take our request here and then we have to say what we're going to return and we of course 
we say to return our primary task PTO. Okay, nice. Now we come again to our result actions. So just let me just copy here some stuff. As I said, we need again our result actions, um, but this time uh, we don't want to. Before we just used forget uh, endpoints, but our update is a patch, so we need also to use patch. So okay, same as before. Say API, and just let me just check. I yeah, we have to. Use the stash here. Go back to a task controller. Ah, there we have our patch mapping. Just take this endpoint path here. We process the URI and also give it here the dummy task PTO dot ID. Enter. Okay, make sure it's surrounded in curly braces. Okay, but I think it's a little bit hard to read not right now. So let me just make here a line break. This is now an extra line. And okay, so here dot. We can here, for instance, also set the content type. Um, we can say media type application.json. There we have it. We can set our content on the next line and say the content. Ah, now we need the mapper. Remember our mapper from before? And um, there we have the map mapper. Uh, write values as string and now we take our request and yeah I think we have to close it here and um, yes uh, now it looks so far so good I would say uh, yeah I'm just thinking okay this should this should okay this should be fine and now we can take um, again the result actions and expect some things. Now we are expecting that everything should be okay. Um, I will show you another way to instead of instead of two hundred to expect a two hundred, you can also expect uh, okay, which is also two hundred. We just have here the is. Okay, um, or otherwise you can just probably use before the is 200. Just show, I want to show you just two or two ways or multiple ways how we can check things. And the next line, I think I just can copy it from here. Nice. Next thing I just show you is result actions and call again and expect uh, now we can we have to again to access the actual response we now need to call it by the JSON path and to actually access it the response we we need the dollar sign and say dot for instance this and then of course we have to compare it with another value so say value dot dummy task video description okay 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 uh, just let me check there is this too much and here okay 
Nice, and this is something you can do also for the other properties. Like this, remind set. Nice. And open. And priority, of course. And yeah, this is how you test um, a patch endpoint when you use mock MVC request builder stop patch and give it the proper URI and then check some things out. And this, the test before register for is not found and is, is bad request exceptions. And about uh, the last line I have added for checking the priority, it for somehow doesn't work, just it shows expected value low and actual value low, but it should work, but it doesn't. So not sure why, but I just, to let you know, I just removed that line and that's it. And then you can see everything works properly. So, so just to let you know, I, I, it seems like there's a problem with comparing enum values and if you know why just write it in the comment section otherwise catch me in the next video bye bye